What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode four of the Dude, not the Dude Perfect fancast, the High Five Studios fancast. I have Dude Perfect on my description, but this is the High Five Studios fancast. Uh, so we will be reviewing all the episodes for the week. Uh, but before we do that, go check out the Instagram High Five Studios fancast. Link is in the description below, so you can just go check that out. Uh, yeah. The other podcasts are in the description below. And everything I think everything else is in the description if you want to know about it. So now, on to this episode. So, we are starting out with my thoughts, logs, just like always. So the first video was, we almost lost High Five Studios for real. This video came out on July 27th, 2020. And I think, this is actually, I don't know why, I think I just like, like the way it's all set up and that stuff. I think this is my one of my favorite Matthias vlogs. What about you, Asher? Um, I really like this just because, like, about what it happened or, like, whatever. But I really, really like this video. It was a really, really good, um, yeah, yeah. funny one. So if you guys haven't, if you guys haven't seen the vlog and you don't, and so basically the neon sign in uh, Upstairs Blue Base did catch on fire, at least the wires did, and almost burned down High Five. Or at least blue, or at least blue base. I think like it's it's just crazy how that it didn't happen. I, I'm it's just crazy. But you know, they also rearranged uh, Matthias's desk or whole office actually this episode, which I really like too. Because I don't know, so his old office actually like I like I you know it was fine. But I think the way his new office looks is so much better. It looks so much yeah. cooler. Yeah, I definitely like it more. If it even looks bigger. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, basically, uh, at the end of the episode, uh, episode video, video, I keep thinking episode. I don't know why, but uh, basically, you know, they go. To the nest cam, Matt and Tanner go in the nest cam, and actually started like popping and exploding, which is just crazy. Yeah. Um, I think uh, on the like uh his office thing, I think it's really good that he, like he was saying in the video, um, like it's very good that he got to um like have a desk area so that he doesn't have to close the blinds or like people yeah. might see his um confidential stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, good for him for that. And also, they talked about Dope or Nope moving, maybe, to yeah. Red Base. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Right. I, I yeah. really hope they do that, actually. I think it's mm-hmm. going to look so cool. They're going to have, like, a rank wall, too. Yeah. So they'll be probably having, like, a, like, ranking all the products, which I think is really cool, too, adding a new <laughs> aspect to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that, I really like this one, you know. And I'm super excited. I really hope Doper Note actually moves because I feel like the way they're doing it now is just so crowded since they have like the old set behind them, and they <laughs> don't really use that. They can do like a whole new thing, so it's going to be in Red Base, which is kind of yeah. going to be different now because usually Orange Orange Base has GG and Doper Note, but then it's just going to be Doper Note or <laughs> just GG and Orange Base. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if there is any, uh, but. Uh, I think um, Woods and Tanner really want uh, you guys to make a um, Woods X vlog or Woods X Tanner. Oh, uh, fanfic. Instagram page. Yeah, that would be funny. Oh. Um, I don't know if there is any, but yeah. Um, and then uh, when uh, when uh, is or like they Michael. Tanner and Matthias were going to check out the stuff in Red Base, like the Dope and Nope set. You um, mean Pat? What? You mean Pat? Oh, yeah, Pat, Pat. Um, but, so there, um, there was, like, these electrical wire things, and Matthias said that there, that Izzy was, um, doing something with that, but I, I feel like Matthias might be responsible with, for the fire. How, how, how do you, Matt doesn't do electrical stuff, though. Yeah, but I, I think maybe he learned just to get clickbait, because he's doing really anything for clickbait Do you now. really think he would risk? He doesn't, but he doesn't do clickbait. 
Well, he 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 doesn't uh, make clickbait titles. He makes clickable titles. Yeah, yeah, so he would do that for a clickable title. Um, I yeah, no, but if you see, it's not it's not from the wall socket socket. It's actually like from the wire from it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, I I really like this video. Um, so Asher, what would you rate this video? Um, I would rate it, I don't know, I really like this video, um, it was almost the end of High Five. I guess, like, well, so Matthias was saying, um, and Noah and I talked about this before, but Noah was saying, uh, Noah and I were saying that, um, if the fire did spread, and it did burn down Blue Base, like, just only Blue Base, because the other bases are, like, close, but they would probably get to the fire before the other um no no yeah yeah burn, burn down. but um, there's also different uh businesses next to them too so let's say it caught and it's like in a it's a complex so they're all next to each other so if yeah. one catches mainly but asher was saying like they probably would take maybe a couple months break but still like if they had a fire they're not profitable right now either so if that did happen they may have to go bankrupt Honestly, that they uh, no, but they Matthias had a lot vlogs. of money. Yeah, but Matthias, like at his house, he has like vlog stuff and stuff like that. So I know, but if it, it, but still, if they're not Matthias profitable, vlogs. if Matthias vlogs is not profitable, then yeah. if he's not in it, that means he's not making money. If he's not making money, he can't pay for expenses, a bunch of stuff, and then they'll have damages hey, hey, that they have hey. to pay for for blue base Blinkered. and then. Red base maybe, and orange base, yeah. they would still need to pay a bunch of stuff for that too. So maybe they could just transfer High Five Studios over to Team Edge, so just everybody, like everybody connected to High Five, well, just moves over to Team Edge. But t- but High Five and Team Edge aren't uh, in the same company anymore. Yeah, I know, but they would move over. The, the only way they are related now is by Omnity which is the uh, parent company of High Five. Yeah. And uh, you, what used to be Chill Records and Team Edge, but now Chill Records is part of High Five now. But that's the only way, and Matt is the president. So I bet maybe, but I still feel like they're, they're – but there's not enough space in the Edge space for GG, yeah, Gokono, and all the officers yeah. for everybody. They would really have to cram together. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, that would be funny though. That would be some good content. It would but, be kind of. I mean, if if High Five Studios burnt down, where would we be? Like this podcast. This podcast would be over probably. Well, maybe for a few. Well, we'd still be doing uh Team Edge. Yeah, we would so just only the team, team Edge though, basically. Yeah. So it'd just be the Team Edge fan cast. Yeah. But, uh, so, so Asher, what would you rate this video? Um, I am going to rate this video a, a 9 out of 10. I really liked it. Um, there's some really funny parts. Um, and yeah, it really caught my attention. Yeah, uh, I would probably rate this a, probably a 9.5 out of 10. I really like this episode. So, what's the next episode, Asher? Um, so the next video from Matthias was we brought back the punishment buckets. Um, only fans will understand. Um, or only old fans will understand. So uh, this came out July 29th, 2020. Um, and it pretty much was that Matthias brought back a um, a thing that uh, was in older, I think it was like High Five Vlogs. No, this is when High Five Universe was the thing. This was before okay, yeah, yeah. Battle Universe started. Mm-hmm. This was so, yeah, on so the Battle was, Universe. It's, yeah, it's basically. pretty much a bucket with uh, ping pong balls, um, but the ping pong ball, balls have numbers on them. Then that number has a punishment with it. Um, so, like, for instance, I think eight was rhyme in every... Uh, for two like, minutes sentence yeah for two minutes um so yeah stuff like that um it was a really really funny video i really liked it um it started with uh 
like him uh, and Sam, so Matthias and Sam, introducing the punishment buckets, um, none of them could remember it. So I guess like, like it was way back. Like, well, this was before. This is right before Paul was hired and Connor wasn't yeah, hired yeah. there yet. Mm-hmm. So it was. It was uh, a long time. So uh, probably a few, a few years. This is uh, when this was like within the first year of High Five starting. Yeah. And yeah. I, I actually, I do remember this episode. This video. Oh yeah, me too. I watched the video. Um. Wait, wait. Yeah, when, but, but when was the first time you saw the video? What? Who? When was the first time you saw that video, though? It was like a few years ago when I started watching. Like twenty seventeen. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. Well, this video came out in, like, 2015. Yeah. But Um, I, I, but, you know, Kevin was the cameraman back then. mm Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I think, so then it went on to say, like, GG, they weren't, they weren't that, uh, you know, excited or, you know, they weren't that hyped to film GG, so they were a bunch of sad boys. Um, then, uh... Tanner's face wasn't clickable uh, for the thumbnail of the GG video. Um, so yeah, and then uh, it was it was really funny. Then most of them went home for some reason. I don't know why. Well, no. So uh, they filmed this. This video actually was filmed before we almost lost lost High Five Studios. Yeah, this was filmed on July second, which was a Thursday. Because they had a three-day weekend for July 4th. Yeah, so they had Friday off. So they had Friday off, so I think everybody was, like, leaving because, you know, all the, all their work was done and then all that stuff. But yeah. So, and then the next day, the fire. There's the fire. Well, two um, days, actually. What? The fire actually happened on July 4th, which is... Oh, uh, really? Yeah. On the security camera, it said uh, July 3rd. No, but they said it was a Saturday. They might have been wrong. I, I, Because I watched that video, and like I watched the next one, too, and I was trying to figure out the dates. But it doesn't make sense, because the thing says July 3rd. Like, the actual camera thing says, like, the Nest Cam, it says July 3rd. So they must have just, like, said it wrong or whatever. Like, my thought like, because I think it, he only said it once, so he must have said it wrong. Um, yeah. But yeah, so then uh, at the end, uh, Sam and Matthias uh, started cleaning out everything. So they cleaned out the equipment room. Um, uh, Sam did that, and then the other, like, with one with the cameras that was actually, um, it was mentioned in the video where Matthias snuck into High Five Studios. Um, he went into that room, so we, like, that was, uh, like, known that it had to be cleaned or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think, I, I really like this video. No, what do you think, what do you think of this video? I really liked it. Definitely, this, to me, I don't know why, it felt, this video felt like a rainy day video. Like, watching it on a nice yeah. rainy day. Uh uh-huh. Chillax, you know. Just raining out, you know, watching this. Be a sad boy with with Paul and Connor. Yeah. So yeah, what do you rate um, this, Asher? I really like this. I think I'm going to rate this video an 8 out of 10. You know, it's a good video to, like, watch, you know, if you're... Like Noah was saying, I think, you know, I agree with him that it's, like, if you're, like, just bored or, you know, not anything really going on, just watch this video. You'll be entertained. Yeah, I would probably give this an 8.5. So, nice. You know, so now the next one, turning my business into a board game. You lose the game, you lose your job. So this came out on July 30th, 2020. So basically, in this video, they set up like, this, they start setting up this giant board game for the for this upcoming quarter, which they filmed this like July about. Yeah. So for these next three months. Uh, so basically, they set up a board game. They haven't like they didn't fully set it up, but we'll see like the progress for it. Uh, and then, but actually, they talk about Woods being sent money on his Venmo account, and fans are just sending him money. Yeah, which I think is super funny. Yeah, 
Uh, so basically, you know, there's a bunch of, uh, Sam is not working. Uh, she's working from home that day. So they had her on Zoom and they just put the iPad on a dummy. So they had a dummy. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that, uh, that Thursday were the first video. So that we almost lost High Five Studios for real. Um, I think she was still, uh, working from home too. Cause she wasn't in that day. Yeah. And she, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's probably, I, I, no, I think it was like, this video, I'm pretty sure it came out after they filmed the, we almost lost high five because Matt's office was the new office. Yeah. So I'm, they probably filmed this like the, uh, that same week, but, uh, uh, they basically like had a bunch of stuff like, uh, CJ's doing, uh, marketing stuff for like March. So they want to have March by the end of this quarter. So by what, September? So by September, they want to have March out, which I think is really cool. So they'll have yeah. three different March, March stuff, three different like shirts or whatever, which I cannot wait to get. Yeah. I'm super excited for that. And I actually, I really want to see if Matt will actually fire somebody. Yeah, that would be funny. Well, funny and also not funny well, because some yeah, of funny and not funny. I mean, like, like... I think there are some people who just, like, don't really, like, work a lot. Like, they're just either, like, doing not much or whatever. Like, either on camera or just, like, in real life, there's just people who just don't really do much and just taking up time and money that they could be um, doing other stuff with, I feel well, like. I think if they were doing that, Matt would have, Matt, Matt wouldn't be doing this and keep paying them for another three months. He would terminate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just maybe he same. just waited until vlog, you know, so that he could make some money off of it. Well, they're not profitable right now, so he's actually not making money off of this. Well, like, make views off of it. Yeah. But, uh, I, if, okay, I know this may be a little controversial, be like, oh, I sure just like this person. If one person was fired, who would you want to be fired? Uh, I don't know. So, out of I, Sam? I just, yeah. Sam? Woods or CJ because Hannah technically is not part of it. She doesn't, she's not doing any stuff with this whole OKR stuff. So between Sam, Hannah, and uh, not Sam, Woods, and CJ, who would you have to fire? None of them. I would hire somebody else. If, no, let's say you had to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I like all of them. They're all great. You if know, you CJ, had to fire guy. somebody, Asher, come on. Yeah. You know, CJ, he's like the, uh, you know, Robin to Matthias, like Batman. Um, I would think Woods, like Woods, Woods is, man, I would say Woods is like the Robin to Matt. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Tanner. Um, but yeah, so then, like, the Woods is like the comedian when Tanner isn't there. Um, and, like, you know, the... The guy who, like, all the uh, girls go to, you know. Um, then uh, Sam, you know, she helps out. She's the Padawan to, um, like, Matthias' yeah. a, a Jedi Master or whatever. Um, but I don't know. This is, I think, I mean, no heart. Like, if I had to pick one. No heart feels. Probably, this is just, yeah, like, no if you had to. Yeah, yeah. I would probably pick CJ just because, like, I feel like he's, like, newer to High Five Studios, so fans don't really, like, and he's behind camera in the uh, Matthias vlogs now, so, like, fans don't really know him, so it's not like they, like, I don't know, most of them wouldn't, like, latch on to I I would have to agree with you there, but, you know, this this isn't we hate CJ. Uh, CJ's still super cool. I just think if I had to hire one of the... Uh, to fire one of those three, I would have to pick CJ. I feel like yeah. I have a connection with Woods, a connection with everybody else, but not really CJ. So I think that's yeah. why. So what would you rate um, this video, Asher? I don't, I really like this video. I like the idea. Um, and I think it was a good execution. I feel like I'm going to rate this video a um, 8 out of 10. You know, good nice. video. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, 
Yeah, I really like this one. I'm glad they did three episodes this week or three videos this week for um, Matthias. Uh, I'd probably rate this an eight two. Mm -hmm. And uh, so before we move on, um, I'm gonna ask you this, and then I'm gonna share my answer or whatever. Um, in any like anywhere in High Five Studios, who would you want to see go? Like no hard feelings, but who do you want to see? So anybody no. who works at High Five. Anybody. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I would, Johnny. I would actually have to say CJ. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I, okay. I can't, I, I can't think of anybody else that I would want to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, I would say probably because I wasn't a huge Battle of the Universe fan. Um, when we see her on camera now, is it? She, I think I know uh, who you're talking about. Is it Hannah? She's very like she's not that um like she isn't really doing much. I feel like um it's definitely Hannah. in the uh the punishment bucket one, we didn't really see her doing much. Um, but so it's either between Hannah, who I was talking about, yeah. or Paul. So. From you would fire Paul? Oh my oh, god. It, okay, no, 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 no. Just because he already has his not Paul GG channel and he's making a lot of money off of it. So you should fire someone who's being successful and would be. No, like, but if, he, that's a good no, but if he's successful, you want him on. You want. If you don't have any successful people, then you're not going to do good. If you have successful people, you're going to do good. Well, I don't know. Yeah, but just I, think, I Let, let's say Paul has however many subscribers. Let's say half of his subscribers go subscribe to GG because Paul is on there. And since Paul's yeah. not on there anymore, they unsubscribe. So they only have one million subscribers now. But then he would, um, uh, but then he would then, like, work on his channel more. Like, he would be working on the not Paul GG. Well, he, anime, but, you know. I don't. I don't think he's. He's not making enough from from not Paul GG to have an apartment, his car. He needs high five for a job. I think everybody really needs because high five is the yeah. job, so they make money from that. If you know they don't have that job anymore, I don't think they'll be. They definitely won't be making as much money because they don't have a job. But yeah. I definitely. Wow, that's that's crazy. Can we want to get? Okay, wait, wait, I'm, I'm going back. I'm going back on what I said. Um. It's not between either Hannah or Paul. It's just one person. I think that they should fire Kevin. Kevin? Yep. Why Kevin? Just because he's the first person who came to my mind. Kevin deals with yeah. a lot of behind the oh, scenes. Kevin, no, no, Kevin could go and work for uh, Team Edge. So. Yeah. Well, what if, if Team Edge isn't hiring, then he can't work. For, he wouldn't. If Team Edge is not hiring, they wouldn't hire Kevin. Yeah, but, I mean, Kevin, like, well, it's Brian's brother. I think Just because your family doesn't mean Kevin has to work for them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I feel, you know, yeah. I can't leave um, God. Yeah, so on the subject of Team Edge, let's go into their videos. So the first Team Edge video of the week was survive the tight rope course this is part of their larger than life series this came out on july 28 2020 so basically you don't want to fall off the tight rope into the water yeah the cold water the cold water yes uh so round one was basically they had to go from one end to the other the quickest uh joey was disqualified for not touching one of like the ribbon type things yeah which, you know, I was like, oh, darn it. Because, you know, I was really hoping Joey would win since I'm Team Joey. And he was wearing purple, which is my favorite color. So I think Joey came in second for this whole video. Yeah, Joey came in second for this video. And then probably Seth came in third and Bobby came in fourth. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, Brian won round one. Yeah. I bet you were happy, Asher. <laughs> I was very happy. You know, good start to the video. Yeah. Uh, round two was, uh, so basically one person started at one end, somebody started from another, and basically you had to get to the end before your other opponent. Uh, yeah. Brian won that round two. 
Yeah, I was. I thought like at the end when Brian won, I I thought that it was a game over Brian won type thing. Yeah. But then round three uh, was they last. They get two points on this. Yes, so yes. They Joey. The well, Joey did change the rules right before, but yes, two points. Uh, so for round three is last man standing. So two people would go at a time. Mm-hmm. So is Brian had won that. So Brian won the whole video. I bet Asher was really happy about that. I was very happy. Brian had an excellent performance. Like. A hundred out of a hundred. So I have a question, actually. Yeah, Were you, like, amazing. jumping out of your seat when Brian was, like, winning each one? Uh, I was I was very happy. It's not like, so, like, Team Edge, um, like, I would probably say, like, uh, Dude Perfect, like, if Kobe, you know, because if you're Dude Perfect fan cast fan, um, my favorite in Dude Perfect is Kobe, so, like, that's, like, jumping out of the seat because, like, he doesn't really want to win much. Yeah. Um, so, like, that's, like, a, you know, very, very happy, um, jumping out of the seat. Uh, the second would probably be a Chandler from Mr. Beast one, a video, um, if he won, because he doesn't win much, um, if he won, won, I'd probably, you know, you know, out of the seat, you know, clapping or whatever, very happy, um, but then, you know, next would probably be Bobby, or Brian, I mean, because he doesn't win, like, he wins, um, like he probably Joey has won more team match videos than yeah. Um, yeah. Like then out of all of them, but Brian does win, so you know I'm just happy. Like you know something like that. I feel like Bobby's yeah. kind of like the Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah doesn't win much. Uh, yeah, the Kobe and Chandler. You know? Yeah, he wins some, but then he loses others. So Asher, but, what would you rate this video? Um, I'm gonna rate this video a uh probably a uh eight. Point five out of ten. Nice, Sorry. nice, nice. Um, but yeah. I really like this. Uh, I would probably rate this an eight out of ten. I really liked it, but Brian uh-huh. did win, so I think that does bring the score down a little bit. Uh-huh. But still, relatively really good episode, video. Yeah. I keep saying episode. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's okay. the next one? So then, yeah. Okay. So then the next one, uh, the next team match video is building a bridge over freezing water can we build a challenge um so can we build it is a new series i think i think this is the first episode yeah. in the series or whatever um so uh this came out on july 31st 2020 um the gist of this video was that uh their art director so i didn't know that they had an art director i think um, the art director is mainly for uh probably some thumbnail stuff design stuff. Yeah. I, I don't know what an art director really does, but I bet it's, like, for design, all that different stuff. I'm pretty sure that you see him uh, later in the episode. Um, you see him in the water. Uh, or the video. Gosh, yeah. I'm getting what you had. I'm calling the video's episode. Um, but yeah, so then, uh, so Brian, Bobby, and Jordan had to make a bridge. The inspiration was a bridge from uh, Disney, like a Disneyland or Disney World. Bridge. I think it was like a jungle they, thing. It was like one of the jungle stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so they made a bridge, like a bridge from like a few, uh, a few things of like crate with a, uh, with like a uh, bucket or no, not a bucket, a um, barrel uh, in the middle or like on the bottom of it and then two large um water bottle things um with on it or whatever on the ends um so yeah it was a really cool design they got it um while they were building it bobby uh i think he said like uh tetanus he said tetanus wrong i forget oh yeah he called it uh tendonitis yeah tendonitis yeah there was the it's like like brian said um when he was like doing that like like brian or bobby when he's acting dumb like yeah dumb, when like yeah when bobby, he's talking about what makes, and, yeah. yeah yeah makes the other people dumb yeah so like, it's like yeah like like when something like when but when bobby was talking about like the what floats and what doesn't float mm-hmm. which i yeah, definitely I, I, I did feel dumber after that actually yeah, definitely. i think everybody uh-huh. did yeah definitely um yeah, it 
it's really funny. So uh, J Frag Joey was not in. Yeah. Not in this video. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked it. It was super funny. Um, uh, they, uh, Bobby, uh, had a, or Jordan, uh, had Bobby go on a piggyback or something like that on his back. Um, but it, they broke it when yeah. they tried to go over. Um, they were going to try to do a, um, like, uh, riding bikes over it, which would pretty, like, been pretty cool, but they didn't get to because yeah. they broke it. Um, but yeah. So, uh, no, what's your rating? My rating, you know, this is different. It's not really, like, going against each other. This is, like, working together as a team. You know, we had Bob the Builder, Brian yeah. the Brute, and Jordan the guy who Jordan. helps. Yeah. Uh, the new guy. Well, he's not new, but, yeah. Yeah. He's he, newer. He, he, yeah, he, he, yeah, he's newer. But, uh, you know, I like this one. Uh, I'd probably rate this a 7 out of 10. Nice, nice. Um, I really like this video. Um, probably my favorite out of the team edge videos. Like Brian did win, but I really like this one. This is really, really yeah. fun to watch. Um, and I always like, I like, I liked Lemonade when yeah. he was doing. Because I like people building. I think that's really fun and cool. Um, so I'm gonna have to rate this video an eight point five out of ten. Nice, nice, um, nice. I really liked it. So now we are going on to a quick break, and then we'll be reviewing the Doper Nope and GG episodes or videos of this week. So you'll hear us now. Welcome back, guys. Now we are going on to the Dope or Nope section of this episode. So, Asher, what was the first episode of the week? Our video. For, do, for Dope or Nope, uh, the first video was uh, 10 Apocalypse Survival Items You Can Buy on the Internet. Uh, came out July 28, 2020. So the first uh, one was armor, like Apocalypse armor. Um, later in the video, the armor didn't really work. Uh, it broke um, with the bat, like custom bat thing. It broke like really easy, but they still gave it a dope. Um, so yeah, it looked cool. Yeah. Um, next was the fire starter. So like wood stuff with like cotton, I think. Um, yeah. Or yeah. Uh, yeah. So they had to start a fire. Um, uh, Matthias and, um, Tanner tried to do it, but they aren't, they didn't really put a lot of effort into it. So they, uh, um, they didn't get it, a fire started, but, um, they like rated it a dope just because you could get it. Yeah, I just think they didn't know how to. They didn't know how to blow, when to blow. Who yeah. actually? No, never mind. <laughs> I just used one of those um, jokes. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So then another uh, still like to buy item for uh, that for this week um was a custom mon Monopoly board for High Five Studios, which I really want them to do a video. So I they, really want to see this video so bad. Yeah, so they would do a custom Monopoly board, um, and then I think three other boards, either that or two or other. It's either the three or four boards. Well, I, the, I know, think it's like, so it's custom board games for the week, or custom board games. So they probably have like Monopoly. I, I think they would have 10, hopefully 10. But maybe um, not, yeah. because, you know, it's all custom, but maybe they will. I can't yeah, think of 10 board games uh, that you can customize, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe um, War? Yeah, get I that think? video. Get the video to 100,000 likes, um, and comment Rusty Cheeks, um, to get that video, uh, for them to make it or whatever. Um, so then the next one was a custom bat. Um, that was really cool. Uh... Uh, Pat had a little mistake. Um, he just wrote dope or nope on the uh, bat thing. He should have wrote uh, dope or guy. I know. Um, so, yeah, but, um, you know, anyway, you know, it was a really, really uh, funny uh, or cool bat or whatever. They took it out um, and they hit it with a mannequin or they hit it at a mannequin yeah. or something like that. Yeah, they hit um, it, yeah. Yeah. Um, so then the next one was survival tabs, so that there were, like, these food things. It said that it, like, had, like, um, 
a good amount of, like, if you m- ate a meal, like, it would be just in this little tab. Um, yeah. They ate it, they wrote it, they, oh, and they uh, rated the other one because of that dope. Um, then the survival tabs, it was a dope. They didn't really like it, but it would keep them full if they, you know, had to have, like, a survival thing or whatever. Um, so, Asher, before you go on to the next one, I just quickly looked it up. So, we are all, so we need what? 35,000 more likes on the custom bat, uh, the 10 apocalyptic survival items to get to 100,000. We're at 65,000 right now. So, guys, go like the video if you haven't, so we can get those custom board games. Because I want that video so bad. Yeah, me too. Um, I have liked it. No, have you liked it? I have liked it. I liked it before I even saw it. Nice. Um, so yeah, so then the next one was hammers, so they had, uh, the custom hammer things. Um, they were kind of like, they're sword-type things, I think. Yeah, kinda, um, they kind of reminded me of, like, pirate swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of shorter. Um, yeah. But they do work. I think, so, they would have worked really good, but then when they, when they, like, hit it at fruit or whatever, um... They were doing it really, really weak, like super weak. Um, so I think. But that just shows how like, sharp it is too. What? It just shows uh, how sharp it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it, they could have been a, a bit more, you know, like, uh, like cool on it or whatever. Um, but yeah, I they rated that one a dope. Then the life straw. Um, it was that was really cool. They used it on a, um, I think, like, Sunkiss or whatever. Yeah, like Sunkiss or Fanta, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much like a, a straw that you can suck, like, drink, like, dirty water out of, um, and it will be clean. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the straw itself can last a gallon of water um, until, like, you need to read. Do the filter or whatever. Wait, was it a gallon um, or I thought it was like more or something? It was like uh, I think it, it, it's a gallon. It's um, a gallon? Still a yeah. lot. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, they rate that one a dope. Then the next one was a shovel that you could take apart and it has like different things. So like there was a whistle, there was like a small um, uh, knife type thing. Um, and so, yeah, that was a really, really cool one. Uh, they rate that one a dope. Then the uh, only note. It was the water flashlight, and I feel like they should have given this one a dope, because, um, so it's a, it's like a flashlight that doesn't power on electricity. If you put it in a cup of water, it will, you know, be a, cust- uh, a good flashlight. Um, but it wasn't but that you, bright. It was pretty dim. But if you leave it in longer, it, it can get brighter. brighter. I, yeah, I bet, and definitely it wasn't moving water either, because uh-huh. usually when you put it in the moving water, it's... More kinetic energy. For yeah, so I feel like you could use up. it better. Yeah, like if you were in the dark and you could like have like a little stream or river, put it in it. Um, then it would be a lot. Like it would be handy to even like even if it was the same amount of brightness than it, that you had. I mean, it's okay to have like a flashlight. If yeah, like it would be ma- probably mainly for like looking through your bag, not like going around uh-huh. places with it. But like looking yeah. through your bag, making sure you have everything, I think that would work well. But you know, I don't. I'm trying to think. Have there any been? Has, has there been any dope or nopes where it's either been all nopes or all dopes? That's my. I'm trying to think of one, but I can't think of one right now. Yeah, I think there's at least one nope or dope in one of them. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So then the last one was the wallet knife. So you've probably seen it, Ryan. It's like a very popular. I feel like a very proper. Uh, popular item. Yeah. Um. So it's like this. Uh. This like card. Like it looks like the like credit card thingy. Um. With like holes in it, but then when you like fold it a certain way, it becomes a knife, like a pocket knife. Um. Which is super cool. Um. You can definitely like. I think Matt said if you just have it in your wallet. Um. And then just take it out. Um. Like, you might not, not even know that you have it, but, like, if you're in, like, a survival-type situation, um, you could just, like, look in your wallet and just have it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, my brother actually has this, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure 
one of my brothers has this. I'm, my uncle gave it to him for Christmas this past year. Uh, yeah. And it actually uh, is really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it would, like, maybe even save a life, you know, if you have it. Yeah. Um, and very, very uh, small, so you can take it uh, pretty much anywhere if you have your wallet or whatever. Um, so, yeah, they rated this one a dope. Um, so yeah, at the end of the video, eight dopes and one nope. So pretty much all, uh, dopes. Um, so yeah, and then the, uh, new album that Tanner had was, uh, Daddy Tanner Takes a Tinkle. Yeah, um, buddy. So I actually, so from, I think it was, uh, Matthias, one of the Matthias vlogs, um, and then this. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, this week Tanner had a few artist names that he, you know, he might have like an artist or whatever, or thoughts about like calling his band or whatever, something. Okay. So one of them is Gucci Beard. Yeah. You know, uh, then my favorite is Father Time. That's yeah. A, that's I, in my time. opinion, Daddy Tanner is my favorite. Yeah. And then the last one is Daddy Tanner takes a tinkle. Um, I, I forget which video they got from, so, like, there's that, uh, picture of him, um... Yeah, with that really tight, uh, pink shirt on. Shirt. Yeah, yeah, um, I forget which video it was, I watched it, but, yeah, that's a really, really tight I, video. I'm trying to remember, I, I like it that. might not even be a dope and dope video, it may be, like, yeah. I, a I remember Matthias vlog. Yeah, yeah, I remember I saw it somewhere. Yeah, um, it, it was either a dope or dope or Matthias vlogs. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think it was one of those, but I think it was still, I think that's just the funniest picture ever. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, no, what's your rating? My rating on this, definitely, I really like this one. I would have to rate this probably a nine. Nice. Out of 10. Nice. Um, yeah, I really like this. There's some really funny parts. I love, like, um, I feel like I really, really like, so like, I think it was the first, so the, uh, bucket of, um, punishment or whatever the punishment bucket um there um uh, i said that there's like comments about saying like once tanner took over dope and up it's been terrible yeah i feel like i like when tanner like takes over or whatever um i really like it he's really funny well, um, i'm trying to remember when tanner actually took over dope and up i'm trying to remember like when he was promoted it, it was a couple years ago too i yeah. think it was when he it was when Tanner started doing the products, like, during the Matthias channel. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, because it used to be Brian for the Matthias channel, but then Brian left, and Tanner started doing it. So I think that's when Tanner actually started doing it. So he started doing it with the Matthias channel, still the thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I really like this video. Um, I'll give this video an 8. Point five out of ten. Nice, really nice, so now on to the second video of the week. Uh, ten of the most satisfying puzzles you can buy. This video came out on July thirty first, twenty twenty. And the sponsor for this video, usually Dope Note doesn't have sponsors, but it is Honey. If you guys don't know what Honey is, where they they actually don't sponsor us, but Honey is basically a browser add on where basically it gives you a bunch of coupons. Yeah. For sure. So, if you guys want to go download Honey and just go to joinhoney.com slash dope or nope. And I'm I'm super happy they actually were sponsored this episode. Because if you look in their a couple past videos, you can actually see, like, the Honey add-on on Amazon. So, they've been using it for a little bit, too. Okay. On to the first puzzle. So this is a wire puzzle. It's kind of like a ball with, like, a cube around it, kind of. You need to, like, get the cube out. Uh, They did rate this a nope. I don't know. I think, but, yeah. Uh, The second one was the fractal puzzle, which I thought was a pretty cool puzzle, right? They rated that a nope. And then the like to buy was a magic drink. It's not like an actual, like, you drink it, you become magic. It's like, a, it's a tutorial on how to, like, you have, like, a can, and then you, like, move it somehow, and it becomes, like, a totally different can, like a Pepsi to Coke, or, like, Red Bull to Monster. 
and then you have to comment down to now uh comment down who is Deanie and you have to and we have to hit 115,000 likes. I'm gonna actually look quickly on how many likes this has. This is 49,000 likes, so you know, still there, but not there yet. So the fourth one was the modular bike. This one was like $500. Yeah. And it, it actually kind of reminds me if, I don't know, but when I was in kindergarten, my teacher used to have like these like kind of like foam blar blocks and it like looked like the same thing. I'm like, man, those look like the foam, foam block things, but like it said like actual plastic, I'm like $500, man. But they did write that a dope. It was pretty cool. Yeah. And then the fifth one was like a marble type thing. Yeah. They rated that a dope. Uh, the sixth one was like, uh, I remember I I had this when I was in school, like kindergarten, first grade, second grade. It was like a ball with like, you had to get through like an obstacle course kind of with a ball. Yeah. Now that was so much fun. Like I used to do so good at those. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe they haven't like seen one of those. I like, I think those things like started in the nineties, really. So I was surprised yeah. Matt hasn't hadn't seen any. Yeah, I actually have one. I have uh, four younger siblings. I have one. Um, and yeah, I I I've beaten it a few times. Um, and it's good. Like when you're bored at home, or like this past like during the um, quarantine stuff, um, I used to use it a lot, and it's a good way to pass yeah. time. And then, so they gave that a dope. Uh, so the balancing nails one, I actually, I have seen this, uh, I have seen this before in a couple of different places, and right when I yeah. saw it, I'm like, I know how to do that one. Yeah. And then, but I do have to say, Tanner did cheat a lot this episode. Yeah, on the puzzles. But then also, like, uh, also, Matt cheated once, and they're like, boo on Matt. I'm like, I'm like. Tanner's been cheating for almost all of them. He's been looking at all that, and then Matt looks at one of them. I'm like, man. So they gave that, uh, for the balancing nails, a dope. And then the next one was the H puzzle. So basically, uh, they had to make an H. Tanner cheated on this one, too. Matt, this was the one that Matt cheated on. Yeah. Like, all mad. Uh, they gave this a dope. And the shout-out was official James Games. So yeah. the ninth product... The wire puzzle, they said it looked like a Twizzler. Twizzlers! Wrap them around your legs and feed them to your puppy. Boom. Yeah. Spin bars. Father Time. A Father Time Tanner. Or Daddy Tanner. I should call him Daddy Tanner. That's yeah, Daddy. New hit single. Twizzlers. Yeah. They gave that a dope. I, that, I, think this, I think that was my favorite puzzle that they did. Yeah. Super cool. Well, the song, you can't beat the song, you know? Oh, yeah, the song is, like, what makes it so good. Just, yeah. like, Twizzlers, wrap them around their legs and feed them to your puppy. Like, yeah. boom, Daddy Tanner. Daddy Tanner takes a Twizzler. Yeah. And then the tenth one was the Spiral. I, I don't put, like, the exact names down for these. So, I don't have the exact name for it. Because, you know, with, like, the titles and all that stuff, like, it's like, what do I put for the title? And then I just put, like, the kind of, like, the definition of it. But this one was basically kind of like a puzzle that you had to, like, unsolve and then solve it again. Which I thought was, I was like, oh. It was, like, actually frustrating me. Just looking yeah. at it, I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, it looks so easy to get out, but then really it's not. Uh, yeah. They gave that a nope. So there were six dopes and three nopes. So, Asher, what would you rate this video? Um, I liked it. Uh, they do, so they're starting, Dope or Nope is starting to do a lot of puzzle videos. Um, they did the, like, other one, like, a few weeks ago. Yeah. I think another, like... They're, they're doing a lot of puzzle puzzle videos, um, uh, but I like them. I think I'm going to rate this video a 7 out of 10. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'd probably rate this an 8. Oh, no, 8.5 out of 10 for the song. 
the song was just boom, fire. I would like to see action. Hey, I think if Tanner worked with High Five Records, if that but you used to be Chill Records, but is now High Five Records, I yeah. think I would love to see like a whole album of Tanner. That would like, be really fun. Oh my gosh, it'd be amazing. Just have like Twizzlers, and then like have it be called Daddy Tanner Takes a Tinkle. Yeah, and then have really Twizzlers fun. in there. Yeah, straight uh, bars. Yeah. It was just yeah. so good. I would buy so many copies of that. Yeah. Hey, I think I think Tanner is a way better rapper than Drake. Wow. Controversial. Yeah. Contra- controversy? <laughs> Tanner Malmadal better than Drake? Yeah. No, it's Daddy Tinkle. Daddy, Daddy Tinkle. Yes, Daddy Tanner takes Tinkle. Tinkle. Or Father Time. Or Gucci Or Beard. Daddy Tinkle. New one, Daddy Tinkle. Daddy Tinkle. Yeah. Yeah, or uh, or Gucci time, or Father Beard. Hey, you know? we can make up names all day. But now yeah, on to Tanner. Tanner, if you're listening, you're you know we're giving you some uh some, some variety. We're giving you a variety yeah. pack. <laughs> yeah. Now on to the get good gaming, gaming. episode <laughs> part of this episode. So the yeah. first one was street racing giant trucks. This was a GTA 5. I'm doing a lot of hand motions. I don't know. This came out on July 27th, 2020. So basically they had, they took trucks and lowered them and basically made them to like a car. Yeah. So basically they raced from the apartment to the arena war workshop. And then they would be able to pick their car. So uh, Connor picked the Carrara. Paul basically t- picked uh, the Tacoma. It's not that's not the real name. They just didn't show the name. So and they called yeah. it a Tacoma. So it was Tacoma. Uh, Matt picked the Brawler, which is like a car basically, but it's under the truck stuff. Uh, and then Tanner picked the Bronco, not called it Bronco, but they called it Bronco. Uh, so basically, Paul got first, Tanner got second, Connor got third, Matt got fourth. But I really think. If Connor didn't kill Matt twice, Matt would beat Connor. Yeah. Because Connor killed Matt twice, and then they said when Matt gets his car, Connor can go. But I was thinking maybe when Matt gets to Connor, they can go. I think that would have been way more fair. Yeah. Because, like, and Connor had gone on, like, pretty far. He was, like, two miles ahead of Matt still. So. Yeah. And then Paul... Uh, Paul had mercenaries on him. And then the only way, and this was actually really close between Paul and Tanner, but Paul stopped Tanner by going through the gate and having it close on Tanner. So, Asher, what did you think, what did you think of this video? Um, I really like, or I, sorry, uh, I didn't like this. You were about to say that you really liked it. Yeah, no, that's because, like, I am in the rhythm of it. I just, you know, GTA Five, not my favorite. Um, Paul winning, not my favorite. So I'm gonna have to give this video a six out of ten. Oh my gosh, Asher! Uh, I re- I really like this one. I I think the GTA videos are some of my are my favorites. They're so funny. Yeah. Uh, I would probably have to rate this in an eight out of ten. Nice. So, Asher, what's the next episode or video? So, uh, yeah, here, Asher, um, with some Get Good Gaming. Um, so, the second video of Get Good Gaming for this week was 10 seconds versus 1 minute versus 10 minute house builds, house build off in Minecraft. Um, it's another Minecraft video. Yeah, uh, Minecraft, yay. Uh, so, it came out July 28th, 2020. So, the first round, uh, Tanner had an igloo. Connor had a treehouse. Paul had an under pond um, thing. Base. Uh, then what? I said base. Yeah. Um, then round two, uh, Tanner had a book house uh, shack thing. Oh, uh, Connor had a shack. I didn't put Connor in. Okay, yeah. Uh, Connor had a shack. Yeah. Paul had a sky house. That was cool. Um, then round three. Tanner had uh, a glass house, uh, Connor had a zoo, and Paul had a ravine house. Ravine. Um, but that's a ravine, yeah. Ravine, yeah. Ravine. Um, 
And, I mean, uh, Paul versus, like, Tanner and Connor, which, like, you know, Tanner's probably the worst out of them. Connor was probably the second, and then Paul was the first, because, you know, Paul has not Paul GG. Yeah, Connor he has, has his own his Minecraft channel. channel, basically. Um, yeah, Connor has his gaming channel, or Minecraft channel. Um, so I liked seeing Paul's build, builds, I really liked that. Um, it was a really funny video. Uh, yeah. Matthias was not there, I don't know why, but he was not there. He was busy. Yeah, yeah. um, but yeah, I really, really liked it, um, and so, I, what's your rating, Noah? You know, I love Minecraft, I love, all. I love, basically, when GG uploads, I like it. Like, they yeah. cannot make bad content. They can only make quality content. Yeah. And, you know, I love the diversity between, like, not doing just GTA or just doing Minecraft. I like how they mix it up. Hoping to see maybe they do some more games, like maybe some more Human Fall Flat. Yeah. I think that, that that's really funny. Maybe some more Golf It. I would like to see Golf It come yeah. back. Yeah, I, I, really like liked, I really like the Golf It episodes. Those are so funny. Uh, I'd probably yeah. rate this a 7 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. Because Paul um, won. Yeah. Um, so I in like the opinion. concept. I, what? I said um, in my opinion. I yeah, I like the concept. Like, I love Minecraft. Um, I thought that they executed it well. Um, Paul, of course, won. So I'm going to have to give this video 10 out of 10. Wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I was uh, like... I'm going to give this video. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I know what I said. You know, last time I said uh, Paul won, so I gave it a six. But um, I there wasn't really a uh, like winner type thing. Um, but Paul definitely did the best out of them. Yeah. Um, loved his builds. Um, but yeah, I love Minecraft. I think I'm gonna have to give this video an eight point five. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, so then the next one was also a Minecraft video. So yeah, uh, good. You know, shout out to you guys who love Minecraft videos. I love Minecraft videos, and yeah. Um, so this is the Bed Wars Challenge. It was a nice one. Uh, so this came out July uh, 30th, 2020. Um, the gist of, of this video was that uh, Paul and Connor um, played Bed Wars. Um, so they were the white team, and then they won. Um, so yeah, so it was a funny video yeah. i really liked it um and so yeah so uh i yeah i really liked how they did it paul and connor are two great minecraft players you know they have their own minecraft channel um so they're probably the two people in get good gaming um who are really good at like minecraft or whatever so. i think the only part of minecraft that matt is good at is building he's really good at yeah. building things which is good for the build off ones, but yeah. not for like the but not survival. Not for like, yeah, for survival stuff. Um, so yeah, so uh, I really like this video. Um, and so yeah, I think uh, uh, Matthias and uh, Matthias and Tanner were not there. Yeah. So that's kind of weird to see like two people gone because you usually it's like one person like. Well, you know, sometimes uh, um, I think. So they probably filmed this the same day they started the hardcore mm-hmm. challenge. I think they, I think either maybe like uh, Matt and Tanner maybe had a dope or nope shoot that they had to do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, th- I yeah. think that may be the reason, or they just couldn't do it for some reason, probably because they were busy. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to rate this video uh, a good uh, eight. Out of ten, liked it. Like, pretty good video. So, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. You know, Minecraft, love seeing Paul and Connor be together, especially since Paul won, technically, basically. Uh, I would probably give this a, an 8 out of 10. Nice. So, now on to the final episode, or video for uh, GG, and for this week. Uh... So they played horse with rock car. So this is like the this is the third iteration of playing horse. They did it with a couple other ones, but they are now doing rock cars. They tan uh Connor did change it to skate. Yeah. But I think they had it be horse just so it wasn't confusing for people. Be like, what's skate? 
they had it, of course, but then uh, this is GTA 5. Uh, this came out on July 31st, 2020. Uh, and then the Tanner quote for the week, we will be doing this weekly now. The Tanner, the Tanner quote for the week is, I looked like a hot dog in a mouth. So, Tan, that was Tanner. Uh, so, basically, Paul lost, yeah. like always, with this. Uh, I bet you were happy, Asher. Uh, it, it, was, it was pleasing, you know. That's <laughs> just like my whole plan is finally coming together. Yeah. Uh, so, Tanner had SK. Matt had SK, and Connor had SKA. Uh-huh. So, there's always, a, there's no winner but a loser. But Tanner uh-huh. and Matt did tie. I really, yeah. I really like that. I really like it when they do horse. I feel like yeah, the thing, the one thing I would change is I wish it was a little bit more structured. Uh-huh. It's very yeah. more, like, scattered. So, what would you rate this video, Asher? This video, I, I like. I liked it. You know, ten, uh, Paul lost, so I'm gonna give this video a uh, an eight point five out of ten. Nice, nice, nice. I really like this one. I love it when they do horse. I'd probably rate this a nine out of ten. If they nice. would have had more structure, I probably rate it. Would have rated it a ten out of ten. So I think now we will be going to a quick, well, not uh, to the outro. And we'll be telling our favorite, non-favorite, a bunch of different stuff. So on to the outro. So now we will be doing our least and favorite channel of the week. So Asher, what was your favorite channel of the week and least favorite channel? Um, I just have to say, um, each channel is super good this week, um, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to have to say the Matthias uh, channel. Uh, yet again, I think this is the third week in a row. But, yeah. yeah, I think that's my favorite um, channel this week, again, because nice. he does great videos. Yeah. So, what's your least favorite video? Or channel. Oh, channel. Um, yeah, channel. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to go with, it It was hard, because, like, all of them are really good, but I feel like, um, Get Good Gaming, I think, you know, I think this was, this is, like, the third week in a row that I feel like this. Um, wow. But, just, like, I love the, uh... I love the Minecraft videos and then the horse um, in GTA 5. But just the first uh, GTA 5 video of the week that came out Monday just really set like a hard, like I just didn't like GG because of the first video um, mm-hmm. of the week. I just feel like it was just like, I don't know, downer or just not that good. Um, so yeah. But it was still a good week for GG too. Yeah, I think I, there was no bad content made from any channel this week. Oh, yeah, definitely not. So, uh, my favorite channel of the week, I think this is, what, my third week in a row? Or, yeah, third week in a row, I think. Since this is my fourth week and you're a third week. But I think my third week in a row is my favorite, is the Matthias channel again. I think it's your, your second. Because last week, like, it was two... Two got good gaming, and then now it's just yeah, two. I th- I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Maybe. I don't know. We'll go back and check it next episode or whatever. You don't worry about it. But, uh, you know, love the content from that. I love doing, like, the no, uh, what's it called? Scripted vlog. Yeah. I'm more of, like, seeing everything, like, how it is kind of with that. So I really like that, but you know, I I like some of the scripts, like with, with the bang one, yeah, and all right. that stuff. But uh, I think my least favorite channel for the week, you know, great content. This channel made great content. It just to me was probably my least favorite out of the whole week. But it was Team Edge. Oh wow! So yeah, uh, wow. you know, love their content. It's great. Just, I think, out of the four different channels, I think Team Edge had the weakest. So, yeah. Asher, what video was the, what was the best video this week? Um, I'm going to have to say the best video this week was, uh, we almost lost High Five Studios for real. The first Matthias video. Um, I really, really liked it. Um, so, yeah. And I think it's the third week choosing the, uh, Matthias video is my favorite. Yeah. Uh, so, so, what was your least favorite video? My least 
favorite would have to be the street racing video, the street racing giant trucks GTA 5 get good gaming video. Wow. I uh, just did not like it at all. Um, See, so yeah, I, I, I didn't like it. I mean, like, it was a good video, but just, like, compared to the others, it just wasn't the best. Wow. Okay, so my favorite video of the week is we almost lost High Five Studios for real. I think just nice. agreeing with Asher, it was just a great thing, you know. I don't know why, I just really liked it. And, oh, excuse me. Uh, I just think it was really good. I think when I first saw I, when I first saw this Monday, or, yeah, Monday, yeah. it was, like, already my favorite one for the week. Like, yeah. Like, literally, it's my favorite one for the week. It literally, before I even saw any other ones, this, I already had yeah. this one chosen. And my least favorite video of the week has to be building a bridge over freezing water. Can oh, you build wow. it? You know, you know, I like the competition part of Team Edge, and I think, like, this was nice. This was a good video. I just liked the competition better, and Joey wasn't in it. But it's still a good video. Uh, so, Asher, what is the overall rating for High Five videos for this week? Out of every video. Yeah. What is the overall uh, ranking? Yeah. New thing that I just thought of. Um, so the ranking, like from one out of ten for the whole week of High Five Studios content. Um, this week was a really good. I think this week, yeah. week was the best High Five content that we got out of all four episodes. Uh -huh. um, I really, really liked it. Like really good. Get Good Gaming is usually my least favorite thing because there's a lot of bad videos. There was only one this week, and there was three amazing videos. Okay, I don't think the they're bad videos. I just think you know because because they're not your interest, but they're, yeah, but they're not bad favorite. videos. Yeah, yeah, um, just my least favorite out of the, out of the four. Um, but yeah, I love the Dope and Elk, the Team Edge, and then the Matthias. They're just amazing. I'm gonna have to this have to give this week a nine out of ten. It wow, really nice, good. nice, nice. Yeah, I really liked it. So, I think my overall rating for every video will be a 9.5. I think the only reason I, it's not a 10 is because of the building a bridge over freezing water. Oh, wow. That's the only reason. Yeah. I think it was, I think it was basically anything else than uh, uh, can we build it. Like, if, if, it, if it was a build battle, I would probably give it a 10 out of 10. But I just yeah. think, like, you know, they work together, you know. Definitely not my favorite. But I would say 9.5 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I think that's all for this week's episode. Make sure to go yeah. check out our Instagram page, the High Five Studios Fancast. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, yeah. This. Don't forget, next week, next Tuesday, episode 5, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Yeah. Every week, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, make sure to go check out our other podcast. Uh, the Mr. Beast Fancast, the Dude Park Fancast, and also the new PewDiePie Fancast. It's not out yet. It will be coming out this uh, upcoming Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. So this Sunday. So go check that out. Link will be in the description for next week's video. It will not be in this yeah. week's video. Uh, the, all the Instagrams are down there and mm -hmm. links to listen to those. So you do not have to look it up. So everything will be down there. Uh, yeah, I have to say that um, this uh, episode is the fourth episode of the High Five Studios podcast, and it's coming out on August fourth. So yeah, yeah, pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I think that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, make yeah. sure to go. There's no like button. It's not YouTube, but uh, make sure to check back in next week for episode five. Uh, we're on yeah. Spotify, Breaker, a bunch of Apple Podcasts, Google Podcast. So yeah. thanks so much for listening, guys. Asher, second sign-off time. Okay. High five. High five. Good night.